Introduce yourself again for me, sir. I'm Barack Obama. I'm the U.S. Senate candidate from the state of Illinois. Okay. And um, you becoming a, a black Democratic senator, this, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Well, absolutely. You know, we've got 100 U.S. senators uh, across from across the country, and right now not one is African American. So part of what we hope to do is to break that barrier, make sure that African Americans, Latinos, more women, uh, are included in the process because the U.S. Senate makes decisions about a lot of stuff, war and peace, what we do with our tax dollars, etc. The reason why I'm bringing up that's a big deal because it's proof that the voting process can work if, if minorities and young people get involved. The disenfranchised that don't usually vote can make changes and, and, and can change the face of, um, of politics. Do you agree? Absolutely. Listen, uh, the, you know, you're a motivating force for young people all across the country. Uh, your music moves people. Uh, you are you're a trendsetter, but what, part of what we want to do is to make sure that we're we're setting a trend in terms of political participation. You know, music, fashion, all that's important. But people have to also understand that you know when our young men and women go to war, somebody's make that decision, and it's typically going to be young people. Uh, you know, whether you work at Mickey D's or you're producing records, your tax dollars are going somewhere. And young people have to be involved in that decision-making process so that their interests are looked after. Um, now, now for some questions that the people want to know. You have disenfranchised young, young voters that feel like their vote doesn't mean anything. Why should I vote? I'm not going to vote. They don't care about me. They don't talk my language. They don't listen to me. Can you tell them why it's important for them to vote this year? Well, this, this is going to be a critical year. I mean, we've still got wars going on overseas. Uh, young people uh, are the people who get sent to war. It's not old people that get sent to war. Uh, you've got a situation right now where a lot of our young people can't afford to go to college because they don't have money. Well, that money is being spent on things uh, that uh, aren't as useful to our society, but would help uh, you know young brothers and sisters all across the country. And so the decision-making process is one that young people have to be involved in. And part of it is, is also that it, it's a way of asserting your power. You don't want to give away your power any more than you want to give away your money. You know, you, you wouldn't give away your money to anybody that just walked down the street, but when you give away your vote, you're giving away uh, a little bit of power that you have to influence the things that you see around you. One of the biggest things I, 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 I get is that um, y young people, they feel like things aren't getting better. All this talk, all these speeches, all these conventions, all these parties, it all sounds good, but it's not affecting me. It's not going to affect my life. Minorities living in the inner cities, Watts, south side of Chicago, Detroit, New York, Brooklyn, Queens, you know, Miami, Opelika, you know, the hoods all around the world feel like things aren't changed for them. I, Puff, you keep on talking to me, you blue in the face, you, Puff, you blinging. You know, you, you living in the Hamptons, we don't want to hear that, and this and that. I feel you. So what can you say to those disenfranchised? Franchise young brothers and sisters that, that really need the help, that, that need a change, and that are hitting me with this, and I'm here to try to get some answers for them. Well, listen, things aren't going to change overnight, and folks are still going to have to be responsible for themselves. So it's going to be important for our young brothers and our young sisters to get an education where they can, to focus and discipline on their dreams and how they move them forward. Nobody's going to solve everybody's problems, and so people still got to have some initiative. But it makes a difference once you've decided that you're going to take responsibility for having these big dreams, that somebody's there to give you a helping hand. And it makes a difference if government's giving you a little bit of help or not a lot of help. We got a lot of ex-offenders in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago, brothers who are coming out of prison. They need job training. They want uh, a better life for themselves. But if they can't get a skill or they can't get their GED because there's no money because that money got used in Iraq, then they're going to give up. There are a lot of brothers who've got a substance abuse problem. They want to clean up. But if they can't get into a treatment program because the money's been wasted, uh, then they're not, they're not going to be able to focus. So you've got to take your own initiative, just like you did and just like I did. But government can be a little bit of help, and your vote will determine whether the people in power reflect what you care about or whether it reflects what the cat, fat cats care about. And that's what voting's all about. I want to say to you right now while you're in front of me, sir, that right there makes sense. You know, I've been hearing a lot of bull today. I have been disenfranchised all day because I'm asking questions. They not answering my questions. This is how young people feel. When you want to be the president of the United States, you, you call your man. Call MTV. We're going to give you a platform. We're going to give you a way to speak because, because you're on to something, kid. Well, you're on to something. 
um, you making sense to me. You got me. I, I am franchised. <laughs> I'm not disenfranchised no more. I and I, we have to, we're going to keep it nonpartisan, but we got to applaud when somebody's making sense. Because we've been all around, all over, speaking to politicians, and this is what we call real talk. This is what Pete, now y'all understand why we vote. We're going to edit everybody else's ass out and just run his <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And, and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan. For, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. And all of us have something to make a contribution. There are a lot of brothers and sisters out there who are doing well, but aren't thinking about the folks left behind. And if you can't reach back and pull some folks up with you, uh, then you shouldn't be in the position that you're in right now. One last thing. Yeah. Um, it's neck and neck right now between Kerry and Bush. The polls is neck and neck. The youth vote, minority vote, has a lot of power. Can you express to them the power of that vote and what it means with only like 12 weeks to go? Is it like, what's how many weeks? Eight, eight, about nine, eight, eight, nine. Okay, it's around we 12. 12 weeks. Around 12. Right, yeah, okay. Don't listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right that's right. That's why I like you. Yeah. Around 12 weeks to go. 12 weeks to go. Make them understand the power they vote. What it means right now for them to be neck and neck and the, and the power they have in their vote right now. Well, some people just got to remember what happened in Florida. You know, uh, George Bush won the presidency. Uh, he thinks. Uh, based on just a, 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 a tiny margin of votes. If a few thousand people more vote in Florida, you've got an entirely different direction of the country. We probably don't go into a war in Iraq. Uh, we're probably spending more money on schools, more money on job training, more money on programs for ex-offenders. All that stuff makes a difference. Uh, you folks can make a difference right now. And, and like I said, don't let people overpromise uh, what you can do through politics. It's not going to solve the problems of the entire world. But it makes a little bit of difference, and it doesn't take that much effort. You get registered, you vote. That takes about 15 minutes. And if you can't spend 15 minutes on deciding what your community is going to look like and what your country is going to look like, then you don't have any cause to complain. He making sense. That's what we need. We need people to make sense. We applaud you. I and, and I want to apologize for not sweating. But I, but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool. And I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that. But I'm just so cool. Um, and we, 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 a t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. The guy's good. The guy's good, y'all. Let's give it up for him. I appreciate you guys. Peace, peace. Thank, Thank you. you.